all the toxic people you need to cut them off get your scissors where are my scissors get your scissors and cut them off hey guys it's your favorite person and welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're going to be doing something a little different i know usually on my channel that we do a lot of you know active things like funny things reacting um you know get to know me text and everything else but then today i just decided that you know i need to talk about this so today we're going to be talking about how i got over my depression and how you can kind of also get through yours <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm not usually a person who's always spilling my personal tea all over the place. Like, you know, um, I keep a lot of things to myself. So one of the first things that you need to do when you're depressed is you need to identify your source of depression or sources of depression can be things like abuse, physical, um, you know, abuse, past, you know, incidents, illnesses and conflict and but for women, a lot of women, who, who lose their children like they get hella depressed and it's a real thing like you know it's various things that can actually you know cause depression in a person's life but then the important thing is you need to identify it so you can deal with it there was a time in my life where i, I was really young at that time like that happened in 2015 i was i think i was grade five i was 10 years old being that young i didn't know any of any of those things like that like depression and those things, anxiety stuff. I didn't know, but all that I could feel, like, was just like, now that she's gone, there's a hole in time. I used to overthink a lot as a kid, so I guess like you know, all that spending time alone gave me the chance to think about all that. But anyways, I used to feel like no one understands. Which brings me to the second key thing that you need to do when you're going through depression is you need to communicate with somebody. You need to talk to somebody. You need to find a way to get rid of all of this anger, sadness, guilt, everything that's built up inside of you. If you have somebody in your life right now who you can talk to, you can trust completely, you have a huge blessing. Finding somebody who listens to you, who understands you, and, and who you can trust nowadays is really, really, really rare because, you know, people will be fake, people are snakes, you, you, know, you don't know who to trust. If you do find somebody like that and you're going through a lot, you need to talk to them. Like, you really need to talk to them. Like, Nowadays, I actually refrain from talking to people like if you are somebody who you know constantly needs to talk to somebody else to vent out your anger and it works for you, then you need to make sure you know you don't want to do this. Also, to me personally, um, 90% of my spirit of my life is very spiritual, so talking to God also helps me a lot. Like, I was young at that time, and you know, I didn't understand like the effectiveness of praying and talking to God, like, that time. All I used to know was um, our father who was in heaven. So to me, I didn't think like, you know, that our father who was in heaven would like, I don't know, I didn't think like he would do anything. So I basically barely ever prayed or talked to God. So I feel like if I had somebody I could talk to that time, I, I would have, you know, actually be able to understand what is she doing in certain inst instances. But not everyone is built like that. Not everyone is like that. So, another thing that I really emphasize on, which is my third point, is that you need to do a self-evaluation. Because, first of all, you can't let somebody into your life if you don't know what they're getting. If you, if, you, if you don't even know what you're bringing them into. So, basically what I'm saying is, you need to get to know yourself first before you let somebody else know you. Like growing up as a child, me, I always used to like be on my own. I had an elder brother. That time my little brother wasn't born yet when I was growing up. So, I was the only girl. So my brother, he never used to want to play dolls with me. <laughs> it makes sense because he's a guy. So he wasn't always there to play with me. And he would always go to soccer practice. So what I would always do, I would always go to the backyard. I would take bottles of water from out from inside the house. I'll take it outside and then I go in. <laughs> I'll take it outside and then I go and take I take the sand and I used to make sand cakes. <laughs> I used to I used to play in the sand, you guys. Those little you know experiences that I used to have with myself actually taught me how to enjoy my own company. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I used to actually enjoy being alone, you know. And not everyone is like that, but that is one thing that I really want to encourage most of you guys that are going through something is try to find 
peace in being alone. It's very peaceful being alone for me right now. Um, sometimes I do agree that I do need company because you know, sometimes you do feel the knock when you're alone for a long time. But having somebody there is good. But you also need to learn how to be. <coughs> Moving on to my next point or my next, you know, experience. I know that there's some people out there who don't like being alone. And I understand that completely. So something that I used to do, I started taking on new hobbies. I don't drink too much. It's lemon water. I took on a hobby. And my hobby was poetry. I don't know why, why in the world I decided to choose that. What made me so fond of, um, of doing poetry was that I could express my emotions through my writing. I could write out what I feel. It felt like, you know, usually in school when you do activities um, where we have to write, you know, a poem or a pen pal, whatever thingy that you want to send to your friend who's overseas. <laughs> when you're going through something deep and you pick up a hobby, it should be something that you're passionate about, something that gives you happiness. Because if you can't find somebody on this earth who can give you the happiness that you deserve, then you need to create it yourself. You need to give yourself your own happiness. And that is it the most important thing that you can ever do to get you know over your depression is to let go of all the toxic things all the toxic people you need to cut them off get your scissors where are my scissors get your scissors and cut them off i don't know if you guys have noticed toxic things toxic people toxic situations all these toxic people there they like making their burdens your own. You can have your own problems, but those type of people like always making things about themselves. Like, oh my word, best friend, I'm going through something. And then somebody comes in like, yeah, you think you're the only one going through, but those people like making their burdens yours. And you don't need that burden, or you don't need that kind of pressure on yourself because you're going through something already. So what you need to do is cut them off, period. And I honestly feel like if you are somebody who's at a state in your life, don't have any hope left you are you just feel like you know you need to take your life and i honestly think that you need to you know just take a deep breath find something that makes you happy and you know you don't need to find happiness in someone people cap people cap people like lying people are fake people are snakes they are snakes people lie people change but the only person only person in my life who is never folded never snitched never did nothing that that person was god and like he is always going to be there for you whenever you go through something i know a lot of people are religious not everyone believes in god and it's fine but like i i think honestly that that is one of the only people on this earth you can ever trust yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this video actually reached out to someone i know um this is not usually the type of videos that i post but like i really felt like with the situations that are going on nowadays you know people are depressed people are stressed people are going through a lot of stuff gbv namibia is increasing like no one's business i just felt like this video was very necessary so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and make sure you guys stay safe stay blessed and I know I don't usually look this pretty in all of my videos, but that's because my sister, my sister, y'all better go subscribe to her channel, like for real, because if you don't, you think I'm gonna go to heaven or <laughs> Oh my word, okay, bye.